Deborah Mack and welcome to our 15 sec tech wrap up on YouTube. On this week's show, Jeff and Laura have two really cool accessories for iPhone users that will help you take better photos and videos. I show off one of the coolest apps I've seen lately that will help you collect money from friends. Also wanted to mention that next week I'm in Barcelona at the World Mobile Congress, so expect some updates from there. And don't forget to subscribe to 15 sec tech right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and enjoy the show. Iographer's mobile media cases are a godsend for iOS filmmakers. They've got cases for the iPhone and iPod Touch, the iPad Mini, and the iPad, and they've got a ton of great features. Sometimes it can be really hard to fit everything you want into your shot or to zoom in when you're far away. Iographer has you covered with 37mm lenses for telephoto and wide angle, so you're totally set. And those just screw right into the front of your case here, right in front of your camera lens. The case also has a great mount, so it'll fit on any standard camera tripod which is amazing if you need to do some panoramic shots or if you want to keep your camera still for some time-lapse photography. I find that having those handles right on the sides of the cases makes them incredibly steady. And there's even some cold shoe mounts on the top where you can add, say, a microphone or a light or something like that to any of the cases to help with your filmmaking. Iographer's media cases retail for $40 to $60 and the lenses are just $30, making them a really easy solution to all of your filmmaker needs. One in 20 Google searches is about health information, and the Pew Research Center also reports that 77% of health inquiries start with a search engine. Google has just announced that it is partnering with trusted health authority, the Mayo Clinic, to improve search results about common medical conditions. The results may also include licensed medical images high up in your search results. I know I personally would be very happy to see some of those fear-mongering sites pushed further down in my search results list. Users should see basic, high-quality information about symptoms and treatment from vetted sources so you can follow up with fine-tuning your research and asking your healthcare provider the right questions. Let's face it, it can be really frustrating when you're organizing an event and you're the one who's responsible for collecting all of the money from the people who are attending. Tilt is a great app that will help you collect money not just from friends for events, but also if you're organizing a friend's birthday party and you're all coming together to buy a present for that individual, Tilt is a really simple way to ensure that everybody pays what they're supposed to. In early February, Instagram copied Vine by bringing infinite looping to their platform. Well, Instagram is not Vine, and 15 seconds of video is very different than 6 seconds of video. Looping may be great for ads and some things, but it's an unreasonable restrictive change for the creativity that Instagram should be trying to foster with their video format. Thankfully, there's a really simple solution that they could adopt, and that is to let video creators determine whether they want their video to loop when they're posting. That way advertisers and Instagram and people working with loops can have their video in the way that they want it and maybe have some interesting creative alternatives, while people like 15 Sec Tech, who use the medium for a more linear purpose, can still provide viewers with the viewing experience that they want. So please help us in our quest to get this changed by posting at Instagram with the hashtag don't loop me bro and tell them why you think looping isn't something to be forced on creators or viewers alike. Thank <laughs> you.